Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Tuckle Man here. Back to another video on the channel. Today, we're going to be playing more Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we went through uh, the weather, not the Weather Institute, the uh, Space Center, and we went through the Seafloor Cavern. So, let's head over here. It's Kyogre. Hold it right there. Oh no, it's Archie. Foo, foo, foo. So, it was after you, after all. Behold. See how beautiful it is? This sleeping Pokemon is the form of the ancient Kyogre. I've waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me how you've managed to chase me here, but it's all over now. For realization of my dream, you must disappear now. Alright, Team Art, I mean Team Aqua, final boss. Let's do this. She got three Pokemon, and I got six. First, get laid out. This is probably gonna be a huge story episode, not gonna lie. Also, hopefully, I I hope we can get to the part where we, uh... You know, where you gotta get Rayquaza from the tower. Okay, using the Super Potion. Nice. Leaf Blade. That would've killed anyways if we didn't get our race attack. Anyways, Blade's got- I mean, he's down. Crowbat. Sparky. Fuck, I used Bite. I was about to use Thunder. I just screwed up there. I like confused me anyways. Alright, let's just go. Oh, I hurt himself too. Oof. That's an L. Uh oh. Alright, that's not gonna do that much. It's not very effective. Alright, uh, yes. Out of confusion, instant spark. Did a good heap of damage. Alright. Sorry about that. For a second. Alright, anyways, we took out Crobat. Very simple. We even paralyzed him. Alright. Sparky gets plenty XP. Level 45. That's good. Alright, Sharpedo. His last Pokemon. This should be relatively easy. Alright, we're just gonna use Thunder. And nice, we hit it. And easy. KO. Perfection. Alright, there we go. Foo foo foo. I commend you. You must recognize that you are truly gift I must recognize that you're truly gifted. But I have this in my possession. With this red orb, I can make Kyogre. The red orb suddenly began shining by itself. Uh oh, here we go again. Oh no. It's Kyogre. It's Kyogre. Uh oh. So it can just fly all the way like that? What? It didn't do anything. Why did the red orb? Probably because the blue orb makes Kyogre do stuff, right? Where did Kyogre go? Hmm? It's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? Hmm, it's raining heavily. Good. That should have happened. That is why we awakened Kyogre. To realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we envisioned? You were in danger? That can't be. That's just not possible. Hold your possession and... Hold your position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. The red orb is supposed to awaken and control Kyogre. But why did Kyogre disappear? Why? What have you wrought? Archie, you finally awoken Kyogre, haven't you? What will happen to the world if it's down of the, if this downpour continues for all eternity? The world's landmass will drown in the deepening sea. What? Well, don't we all get high and mighty with me? What? What? Wasn't it you, T. Magwon, that irritated Groudon? So as long as I have this red orb, it could, I could, I should be able to control Kyogre. I should be able to control it. We don't have the time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if, see if what you've wrought 
is the world that we decided. Jesus, I can't talk. London, come on. You have to get out here, too. It's gonna be a lot of cutscenes, I can tell. What happened? What is this wretched scene? I did... Did I make a horrible mistake? I only wanted... Do you understand now, Archie? You finally see how di disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry. We have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. London, don't say anything. I know y that I have no right to be critical of Archie, but the way things are now, I doubt that all humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither can we just stand by and watch helplessly. The responsibility for putting at the end of the fall of Archie and me, whatever. This is... This defies belief. Those are super ancient Pokemon. Their power is unbelievable. They've upset the balance of nature. London, what is happening? This is terrible. After the scorching heat wave ended, this deluge began. If this doesn't stop, all of Hoenn in the whole world will drown. The huge rain clouds is spreading from Sutopolis. What is this world? What in the world is taking place there? There ain't no position point of arguing here. Sutopolis might provide answers. London, I don't know what you intended to do, but don't do anything reckless, okay? I'm going to Sutopolis City. Well, we're just gonna have to follow him there. Oh, hi, London. It's Jackson. How are things up with you? Uh, I don't. I don't really care. Let's check out my Pokénav. So I'm here. That's Pacifolog Town. That's Evergrande City. Sutopolis. All right, so Sutopolis should be up. We'll go to Pacifolog Town later. This is crazy. Um, not now. Which, why are you out in this rain? And the fact that they didn't kill is really irritating. And of course, you got a full store Zebra, I can take that. Yeah, I can easily take that. There we go, easy to win. There we go, defeated trainer Alexa. I got like four of these left. It's the dead end. Where am I, man? This is hard. Alright, I should be at the south entrance. This is the island. This is definitely the island. Oof, 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 oof. I'm a mur I don't give a crap. Bruh. Still ha you still didn't evolve their marrow. You just caught. Like, Jesus Christ. And it's still faster than me. I'm a level 46 septile. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. This is annoying. Bro, this is annoying. I'm gonna pause till I get there. Alright, guys, I'm back. I almost missed a cutscene, Jesus. Oh no, look at this. This is amazing. Yeah, Kyogre and Grodden are fighting. Oh, 
All right, yeah, I'm going to pause.